mind is constantly going. So when I'm drawing a line or I'm drawing a building or something, like it's like completely turned off. And eventually when you get past that like hour of it being turned off, then it starts actually thinking of things clear. Something I've always wanted to try mural. It was really nice uh, just seeing it digitally and then actually seeing it physically. It was very satisfying. And I realized that a lot of the skills that you do digitally really do translate to real life. Like, not exactly, but it, it's, it's definitely not as hard and daunting as I thought it would be. I draw a lot of pigeons as my like logo for my studio. And most of my art is like New York based, New York centric. Um, so I thought I'd incorporate a little MTA guy putting up some NPA signs. It's just nice to think that, you know, like here in the city, there's a million of us, but yet there's still people out there who are making sure that they'll be there for you if you need them. You know, even the, the regular workers on the street, you know, like there's good people all around the city. I mean, mental health is not something that's very, uh, how do you say, it's not very advocated in the Latino community, at least when I was growing up. I was raised thinking, you know, if you're sad, just smile. But it doesn't always work, you know? And it definitely does does make a difference if you take the time to to dive into that, to, to talk about it with a professional, to talk about it with friends and family. So definitely making time to talk to someone, a good friend, a good family member that knows about it, and then looking for professional help makes a world of a difference for sure. It's something that can be cared for, not just ignored. I'm Renee with You New York NYC and you are not alone.